Hey guys, Steven is the long guy here, and uh, I've got a very interesting tutorial for you guys today. Yesterday, I put out a video uh, doing a makeover on a female mannequin from Hair Art Products, HairArtProducts.com, and today I'm doing one on the famous Steve from HairArtProducts.com. And uh, Steve is kind of like the celebrity mannequin. I've done so many tutorials on uh, you know Steve, different Steves here, and today I'm going to do a makeover on a guy. All right, so. You know, I don't know how often you're getting guys coming into the salon, you know, looking for a makeover who's got hair like this, or if you have hair like this and you want to attempt to do this yourself, then you might end up looking like me, but be careful, all right? But anyway, you guys, uh, this is going to really be fun, it's really interesting, and who knows what we're going to do, but we're definitely going to do something drastic. So I'm ready to go, let's get started. All right, guys, so let's do this. Now, uh, Steve here saying he doesn't want to go super, super short, but... He wants something that it's going to be a pretty noticeable change. So I'm thinking we're going to take this relatively short uh, down in through the sides here. I'm going to do this all by hand. Uh, I'm going to taper this down nicely throughout the back. So I'm going to take it kind of shorter in through here uh, and leaving some length throughout the top so he can kind of slick it back and work it all in and have a little bit of length to, uh, to work with. And something so that he doesn't feel like, you know, he cut all his hair off. He still has a little bit. And plus the trends right now... You know, we're seeing guys with either really, really short hair or really, really long hair, all right? Um, but also, you know, that in between uh, with the undercuts and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is going to just section this right down the middle, and we're going to create a parting right in the top of the head and create uh, a division point, basically what separates the front and the back, all right? And that usually goes right behind the ear. So it goes from the top of the head all the way down into here. And the one thing about hair cutting is that you have to keep yourself organized and the best way to do it is to just do everything in sections and panels, all right? So now we got this out of the way, which means we can purely focus throughout the back here, okay? So let's begin. I'm gonna just tilt the head down like this, and uh, we're gonna start right here in the nape area. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to split this right down the middle, all right? I'm gonna push this hair out of the way like this, and I'm gonna do the same thing right here, all right? Now we're gonna give ourselves a nice area that we can work right on directly right here in the nape and let's come on this side as well and now what we're going to do is we're going to establish our length this basically is going to tell us you know how long are we going to leave this in the back if you leave it down here you'll have some length to play around with and to have kind of like a longer shaggy look if you cut it right to the neckline the hairline here it's going to be pretty tight so what i want to do is i want to go pretty much um you know right in between probably right here all right not too far down where he's got a lot of length and not too far up, okay? So let's go right here and we're gonna cut this straight across just like that. As you can see, I'm not using any tension whatsoever. I'm just using the way the hair naturally falls like that. I'm not even using my hands, all right? You get a perfect straight line. What I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna comb this all straight down and I'm gonna continue to do the same thing. I'm actually gonna bring all this straight down just to cut my baseline, all right? I'm gonna bring the whole back of the head down this way, all right? So I want you guys to do that, uh, and then when you're done, then you can uh, we can catch up and we can continue to work and start layering, all right? So bring everything down to this point, and then we'll come back and we'll start layering. All right, so we've got the whole back down to this one point into here, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work into the corners like this, and I'm gonna hold everything straight out this way, uh, cutting it to where it's about, I'd say, uh, an inch, in length, just like this, all right? And here we go. We're cutting down like that towards the nape line. And this is gonna give us a really nice, uh, tight cut in through here. And because you're cutting, we're cutting palm to palm, it really allows you to get it nice and close. So I wanna keep this kind of in between. Again, we don't wanna go su super, super short, but we wanna go short enough that it's gonna make uh, enough of a difference. I apologize if my elbow is getting in the way. All right, and now what I'm doing is I'm just picking up a new section on top of that, and I'm gonna work the same technique. I'm working on a diagonal section, but I'm, but I'm pulling it straight out from the head, okay? And what that's doing, you know, people are gonna ask me, why are you cutting on a diagonal? You know, it just, it keeps it, things a lot more uniform for me, I've noticed sometimes when I do this, and I just, I like it. I like cutting this way, it's a little bit different. Sometimes you have to try different things uh, to be better at them, you know, and if I went right down the middle straight away, hey, maybe it, it might not give me what I'm looking for right away, all right? 
So be open to trying new things. Now look, okay, look at, see as you comb it straight down, it's got a beautiful, beautiful, nice shape to it. Okay, nice tapered shape. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue to go throughout the whole back like this, all right, taking a uh, new section, comb out what you already cut, and we're, we're again, pulling it straight out like that. There's our guide underneath, and we're gonna cut following the head shape, okay? So we are pulling it straight out from the head, all right? We're pulling it straight out, but we're cutting in a diagonal section, okay? I just, I like doing it this way, and try it. If you don't like it, then too bad. <laughs> if you do like it, then awesome. So let's continue to do this all the way here. When it gets to the middle, um, you can continue to go all the way in this side, but you can pick up on the other side as well, uh, and then you're gonna probably meet in the middle, all right? So when you're, guys, when you're done, um, we'll come back and check and see where we're at. One thing I wanna show you guys is, I kind of skipped over this, but when you're coming higher up towards the back, the top back of the head, as you notice now, I changed my body position. Now I'm cutting up this way, all right? So it allows me to get higher up without having to uh, hurt myself or overextend anything, all right? And again, as you can see, I'm working the same pattern, cutting in diagonal all the way throughout the bottom. But I just changed my body positioning. And body positioning is huge because you don't wanna hurt yourself. You don't wanna put yourself in a scenario or a situation where you might be way up here and you're hurting yourself, all right? So, uh, and, and if you want, you can cross check the whole thing going back this way, all right? And again, remember what I, I always say in my videos, when you, when you cut the opposite of how you cut and cross check that way, everything will kind of stand out and it'll, if something is to be cut more, then it'll, it'll jump right out at you if, you if you comb everything the opposite way of how you originally cut it. So let's continue to work uh, in this manner here. Now, as you can see right here, I'm starting to even balance things out and even it out where I'm gonna be cutting almost straight down the middle because we're coming to that part. And what we're gonna do on the other side is we're gonna do the exact same thing, cutting on a diagonal section. So we can stop on this side uh, right down in through here just like this, and you can kind of leave it right in through here. And look, hey, look at how nice this is, all right? Take a look at that one side, all right? So what we're gonna do now is we're going to then go on this side, and we're gonna split this down like this. Again, the division point, which we cut already, um, or we, we sectioned and we cut the, the baseline. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in like this, and now we're going to cut our section, all right? We're gonna be cutting towards diagonally going this way. Now all we have to do is figure, hey, we cut it about an inch, all right, and there we go. And now we're gonna cut up this way. All right, remember, watch your, don't cut too deep because you will cut yourself. Us, you know, experienced people can go a little bit further in, uh, but always be careful, okay? Now, there's that. And then now we're gonna cut on a diagonal section again. We're cutting just on top of it like that. There's our guide underneath and we're cutting upwards now, okay? There's the guide underneath, and we're cutting upwards, same thing. So, I want you guys to finish this, and when you meet in the middle, uh, when we meet in the middle, we'll stop and take a look where we're at. All right, so here we go, we're, we're done now, and we're gonna meet right in the middle here, all right? And this is where we're gonna cross paths with what, what we've done throughout the whole back, all right? And this is where we can start really connecting, cross-checking, blending, making sure everything uh, is worked in nicely. I'm just gonna tilt the head this way, and I'm just gonna really go through the whole thing pretty aggressively, all right? I'm gonna really comb it out, I'm gonna brush it all different ways, I'm gonna really uh, just go over it and be very, very thorough, all right? And this is really key to the whole haircut, because this whole back, you know, you want everything to be blended in nicely, all right? And you might find some pieces that are a little bit longer, so this is the time that you cut them, and you, and you balance everything out and don't be afraid to go through it. It's really, really important to cross check, to double check, to go over everything, to comb around. Uh, it, it's really key in hair cutting is to really comb the hair in all different directions, uh, in all different uh, angles, and, uh, and, and just really keep working through because the hair will literally jump out and you'll see where you know any mistakes are. I mean, really, if they're not mistakes, but they're uh, inconsistencies. So you don't want to say you're doing a really a horrible job and you don't want to say, oh, I'm, I suck at haircutting. Um,
but you just want to make sure that you're cross-checking and making sure everything uh, is well balanced, okay? So when you go through the whole back, which I'm just going to finish doing, and you feel comfortable that everything looks good and you're happy, then we'll move on uh, in through the sides. All right, now it's time to work in through the sides. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm taking a horizontal section like this and give myself enough room to where I it's not too thick of a section, it's not too thin, all right? So here's what we're going to do is I want to leave this a little bit longer so we can wear it back a little bit if you want. Um, we're not going to buzz it. We're going to do it all by hand. But here's what we're gonna, where we're going to start, all right? So we have our corner right into there, which we cut before. Now what I'm doing is I'm cutting upwards like this, all right? Take our next section, come right in on over it like this. There's the guide underneath it, and I'm cutting straight up like that, okay? It's going to fall definitely a little bit above, over the ear, which is fine. Uh, you can always go back in and trim that down a little bit, like see right in through here, which is totally fine. You can always go back in and do that afterwards. Right now what we're doing is we're establishing the shape um, into, the, into the sides here. Now I'm just over directing slightly a little bit and I'm going to comb it back like this. All right. And as you can see, we're left with all this in through here. Now, depending on um, the guy and depending on, you know, how he wants, look, this because also this mannequin has low sideburn right here. So all we, we need to do is simply just take that right off, just like that. All right. And now we've got kind of a tapered look, um, which can also be slicked back like this. Now, what I want to do also is come in this way, come over it like that. And again, now I'm cutting diagonally just to make sure everything is blended nicely. And if there, so there's not too much excess weight. All right. There's not too much excess weight that needs to be uh, taken off. And this is the best way to do it is, is to do this right now while you're here. Comb, see, I'm combing now everything horizontally, pulling it straight out like that. All right. So now it's got a look where, hey, you know what? You can slick this back still. It's over the air. It's not too, too short. Let's take this up now, one more section. Now we're pretty much uh, in here, as you can see, into the corner, all right? And now we're gonna start to leave things a little bit longer. So, what we're doing is we're going to cut it square so that we're leaving that corner right in through there. Following the same exact pattern, okay? Now look, that corner, I'm leaving it, which, which really, what that is, is that's gonna be length that we can hold on, we can uh, keep in the haircut. And now what I'm gonna start to do is I'm going to start to over direct back towards me now because this whole look, I wanna leave this right here longer. All right, I wanna have this so that it slicks back. So I'm over directing to where I'm pretty much right behind the ear. All right, now look, see that? Look, it, it's got this beautiful um, taper going back still but we've got some length right in through here. See, look at, there's some length there. Perfect. So what I want to do now is I want to go to the other side. And since we did this already, I want you guys to follow the same exact pattern. You take your first section right in through here, comb this out of the way. All right. You don't have to spend 45 minutes trying to clip the damn hair out of the way. Just push it out of the way like this. Bam. You got a section right there. All right. Now again, do the same thing. All right. You're going to pick it up like this. Now I'm coming from underneath like this, so that the face is facing me, okay? And I'm gonna comb it straight out, and I'm going to cut straight up like this, all right? Next section, same thing. So follow the same exact pattern, do the same exact thing you did on the other side, uh, and then when, when I'm done you're done, we'll meet back here to work into the very top. All right, so now we've got all this hair on top to work with in through here, okay? But we have also, something to our advantage. We have a guide right into the back here, which we cut already. Okay. So what I'm going to do is we're going to cut shorter to longer to leave this length, uh, in the middle here that it can kind of slick back. All right. So I'm going to have to hold, we're going to have to move the camera up pretty quite a bit because, uh, the hair is relatively long. All right. Hey, <laughs> so now here we go. There's the guide right there. I'm lifting my elbow up. And, and the higher you lift your elbow up, the longer it's going to be, okay? So there, I've cut it to where it's probably about 
I'd say a good like six inches or so, almost seven inches or so um, throughout the top, but it's going shorter to longer. All right, it's going shorter to longer. There's the guide, and we're gonna cut again, following the same pattern, just like that. Bring this back here. There we go, there's the guide, and cutting towards the face, shorter to longer, okay? Remember, your elbow here, your left elbow or whichever elbow you're cutting, uh, you're holding the hair, means you can go like this. If you comb it down this way, it's flat, and this way you're building weight on top of it. Now we've got this last section here in through the corner. There it is. And there we go, removing that excess weight, okay? Just bring this around here, just to round this out a little bit. All right, just to blend that in. And now we'll do the same thing on the other side. Combing it straight up, and now cutting tor towards the face on an angle, going shorter to longer. And believe it or not, folks, we are almost pretty much done. Last section right here, comb it straight up like this. There's the guide underneath, and we're gonna cut that longer hair off. And then we're gonna brush this all back, and um, just to make sure everything is well balanced, make sure everything is nice and even. All right, we're gonna comb this back. Sorry, let me just bring this down. Let's go so you can see. All right. I just want to work this shape in a little bit more through here. Oh, there's a piece that I missed right into here. Again, cutting shorter to longer. And then bam, so we have it all blended in now. Now take a look at this. All right, look. Look how beautiful that, that or awesome that is. All right. Um, let's put the scissors down for a sec. Let's run our fingers through it like this to double check everything to make sure everything is pretty well balanced. All right. Now here's what's gonna happen, I can see this already. On this side, something's happening that I'm not crazy about, which means I have to go in now and this is the best way to do this. Comb it back and then bring it all down like this. Now of course the front's gonna be longer. Of course the front's gonna be longer. All right, but now what I wanna do is I just wanna cut this a little bit shorter into here. All right, working on an angle because I felt maybe it's too long. All right, too long and um, this way we can blend this all in and there, are, look, see, it looks a lot better now. All right, so I'm just going to spin this around, guys, and uh, just take a final look here. And I think this looks really amazing. Now you will have longer pieces, all right, um, right in, through the front here. What I wanna do is I just wanna come in on this side here uh, just to blend this in and balance this out so that it's not too, too uh, much longer on this side and that there's no you know, really, really excess weight that's hanging out over it. So uh, now everything should be able to go back nicely like this without having any sort of like, you know, really harsh disconnected pieces or anything like that, um, which also you have to be careful as well. Uh, and that's where if you feel like it's too disconnected or you want to blend it more, then you simply can do that by combing it straight down and you'll see where the line separates and then you can work it in, all right? So now what I want to do is I just want to go in and kind of chip into it, uh, put some of the finishing touches on here, uh, just really kind of uh, add some nice texture to this. Just go in and chip in through the top here if you if you want, just to create a little bit of dimension through here, uh, just to kind of break it up if you want to wear it a little bit rough. This is basically what it looks like when it's kind of almost half you know half dry. It's a little damp, so you can wear it just with a little bit of water. Uh, but you can also wear it with, I would say, a gel or a cream, uh, maybe a, a wax if you want to slick it back or some sort of pomade. So you've got a few different options to wear this. So uh, I'm going to dry this completely, and then maybe I'll put a little bit of uh, wax in it just to fin finish this off. All right, so this is what we got here when it's blow-dried and it's got no product in it. So as you, as you see here, it's kind of got like a nice, uh, a really nice look to it. Uh, you can wear it towards the face this way if you're looking for something a little more kind of messy like this. All right, Johnny Depp has his hair a lot like this. Um, you know, or you can slick it back. So you got that length here. Let me just show you guys here. So you can see how long it is on top. Look, this is how long it is on top. All right, just so you know. And in the very, very front, it comes down probably to about, actually to the chin, a little below the chin. That's how long it is in the front. All right, but as you can see, it's got that nice kind of rugged look to it. All right, so what I wanna do is put a little bit of wax in it. And the wax is gonna give it a slight hold but also it's going to kind of give it a nice little shine as well, all right, which, which I'm looking for. So just there, there's some wax, it's called dry wax from Paul Mitchell. 
work it through the hands. And what I want to do is I want to start kind of right here into the side like this. All right, start in the side first, because that, um, so it's not too, too heavy throughout the top. All right, and what this will do is it'll help tame down um, any sort of flyaways, which I really like about this. And it also helps give the hair a nice kind of uh, slick back look. All right, so there you go. I'm slicking this back this way, kind of nice and tight into here. Uh, and then you can bring this over. You really have a lot of options to do. Do it. So a lot, a lot of the trends right now are kind of some side parts into here. Um, some of it's kind of all slicked back like this, as you can see, with some volume throughout the top. Uh, and this pretty much is it. I think it's a great transformation. Let's turn this head around like this. So you can all see. There we go. Throughout the back here, nice and tapered, blended, and uh, it works in nicely uh, on this side as well. So uh, I really hope you enjoy this, guys. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, I won't be able to do these really longer in-depth ones all the time, but I got a few requests to do a male makeover. So um, I hope you enjoyed this, and don't forget to like the videos. I love to see your comments, and I really hope this helped you out. So um, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more tutorials from the Salon Guy.